Hi, this is Lisa Loves to Crochet and Knit. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this googly-eyed bird. So let's get started. Um, first you're going to need some googly eyes. These are the bigger size. These I purchased off Five Below or from Five Below. And you're going to need a crochet hook, a size J. A pair of scissors. A tapestry needle. Some hot glue um, sticks and a hot glue gun and some different color yarn you're going to need yellow for the beak and I'm going to do red for the center the body of the bird and then I'm going to do this red heart super saver it's um let's see here it's favorite stripe and let's see how color change it's going to be I'm on the orange right now and We'll see. It probably won't change anything other than orange. So um, first off, you're going to need to start with a magic loop. And I'm using red, remember, so it can show up better. So I'm going to start with a magic loop. I'm going to grab my crochet hook. And then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook because I'm going to do half double crochets. And then I'm going to grab my googly eyes. And I'm going to insert, put that on my hook. And I'm going to do eight half double crochets around the googly eyes. So there's one. I'm going to wrap around my hook again. And then I'm going to put another half double crochet. You're going to have to hold the uh, end and the magic loop and the googly eyes. Because it'll be hard to uh, do it if you don't. So there's two. And then here's three. So I'm going to continue with this and do eight of them. Okay, there's my eight half double crochets around my magic loop in the googly eyes. And then I'm just going to tighten that that um, stitch just a little bit. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my hook. And I'm going to go in between and grab that. See if you can grab that um, magic loop. And I'm just going to do it four half double crochets behind there. So it'll be a little fidgety, but that's okay. So there's two, and then here's three, and then there's four. So I'm just gonna pull my yarn a little bit, and then I'm gonna turn it over, and I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. And I'm gonna chain one, And then I'm going to put a half double crochet in that same stitch. And then I'm going to put two in the next. I'm going to put two half double crochets in the next. So I'm just going to repeat two half double crochets in every stitch around. And I'll see you at the beginning. Okay, so I've completed that round. And I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. And then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to put a half double crochet in that same stitch. Oops. And then I'm going to put one half double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm going to put two half double crochets in the next. And one in the next. And so I'm going to repeat two half double crochets in one stitch and then one half double crochet in the next stitch around. So this is what I've got going. So I'll see you at the end of this round. Okay, so I've completed that round and now I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. And 
Now I'm going to chain one. And this is the, this is what he kind of looks like. So now I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to weave in my ends and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, I have my ends weaved in and now I'm going to make the beak. And I'm just, you just need a little bit of yellow and start with a slip knot. Put that on your hook and then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to put three double crochets in that first, in the third chain from the hook. I'm going to weave in my ends as I go here. So there's two, here's three. So there's my three double crochets. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to leave a little tail. I'm going to cut my work so it can be knotted. And so now I'm going to weave in my ends. Okay, so now I have my beak and I just kind of finesse it so it has a point. I have my ends weaved in. I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue and just put it on the back here. And I'm just going to put the beak there. So there's the beak of the bird. Now you're done with your yellow yarn. And now I'm going to take some red yarn. And I'm just going to cut it into little four inch, not even, strips. And I'm just going to get four of those. You're going to trim this, make this even shorter anyway. And I take two of them. And I line them up so I can uh, put them on the hair. And I grab my crochet hook. And I go right straight in between the eyes. And I'll just pull up a loop. And then I'll pull all that section of that yarn through there. And then I grab one of the other ones and I go to one side and then I pull it up through again and then I do this the last one on the other side and then I pull up a loop again and I pull it all through there and then I tighten those on there and then I take my tapestry needle and I flip it over and I insert my hook into this where I just went in on the center one. And I take one of those sides of that and I just thread it through the center. And I insert my hook in there again and I grab one from the other side as well. And so um, they only have a couple little stray hairs and it's all... And then I just trim it to however length I want. Um, so I don't cut it too short. And there's my, the hair, the little top of the bird. So I have that done. Now let's do the wings. The wings, I grab my crochet hook and the yarn color of my choosing. And I start with a slip knot. And I tighten it on my hook and I chain four, two, three, four. And then I'm going to double crochet in the third chain from hook, one, two, three. There's my double crochet. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to slip stitch in the second chain from hook. There's my slip stitch. And then I'm going to put a double crochet back down in that same spot where the other double crochet is. So that makes a little point 
and then I'm going to chain three, two, three, and I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from hook. I need to pull some more yarn here. And I'm going to single crochet in the next one down. And then I'm going to treble crochet into that first chain next to the double crochet. And then I'm going to chain three. I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from hook and I'm going to single crochet in the next one down and then I'm going to put a treble crochet in there and then I'm going to put a double crochet in there and I'm going to chain one I'm going to tighten my work and there's your your little wing so now we're going to make two of those so if you can see that so there's your little wing on one side and let's make another one so I'm going to slip knot again on my crochet hook And then I'm going to chain four. There's my four. I'm going to put a double crochet in the third chain from hook. And I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to put a slip slip knot in the next in that first chain from hook, or the second chain from hook rather. And then I'm going to put another double crochet in that same stitch and there's my first little little point on there and I'm going to chain two or three I'm sorry and I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from hook and then a single crochet in the third chain from hook and I'm going to put a treble crochet in that first stitch that I didn't do anything with. And then I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to put a single crochet in the second chain from hook. And a single crochet in the third chain from hook. And then I'm going to do another treble crochet right back down to the base of that first treble crochet so this is the other side so you're just going to flip it over and then um, you need a double crochet in that same space and then you need to chain one and then you can cut your working yarn and you have two matching wings now I weave in the ends and I flip one over now when you weave in the ends, you can pull them together and make them tighter if you want. I like them spread out a little bit. And so this is the base of my wing. So I'm just going to use this as a point for where I need to attach. And the same over here, the base, whoops, the same over here, the base. So then you'll weave in your ends and then you'll attach there so let me weave in my ends okay so I have my ends weaved in and the base of that where we started the wings that's where I'm going to use for the base of the wing to attach and I'm just going to kind of push it to like make it a point and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the end and I'm just going to make it like that and just kind of pull it so it looks like a wing and then the other side I'm gonna do the same thing just put a little bit of glue 
and then I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of pull it so it looks like a wing. So, like so. And so there is your googly-eyed bird. A red bird and a blue bird. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.